Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing a what's new at the drugstore haul video and I'm going to put these bags down because they are very, very loud and annoying. But I went to Target and picked up a few new fun things and I also picked up a few things from Walmart and some new things from Flower Beauty that I'm super, super excited to try. So it's a very small haul compared to my other drugstore videos, um, but some good stuff's in here, or at least I hope it's good stuff. Um, but if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, but yeah, let's just hop into it. Alright, so let's just get started with the stuff I picked up from Flower Beauty because it's kind of what I'm most excited about. And the first thing I got is their new highlighting palette. This one is the Shimmer and Strobe palette. And let's see if I can like bust into this because I want to see what this looks like. I will say something I do appreciate about Flower Beauty is that they do seal their stuff now so you never have to worry about it like being contaminated or like gross because seriously people at the drugstore have no shame like if they want to try on a lipstick they will try on a lipstick on their nasty little mouths and it freaks me out so let's see how these highlighters are let's see um the pink one Ooh, maybe Ooh, now that's a little something something let's see the others okay um, the last one, ooh, so they definitely have potential, I feel like they're a little powdery though, um, so I'm curious to see how they are going to look on the face, but I mean there's definitely a little bit of reflection there, but they're also kind of powdery, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. The next palette I picked up is one of their new eyeshadow palettes. This is the Shimmer and Shade eyeshadow palette in the shade Golden Natural. And again, it is sealed, so let's bust on into here. They had four of these palettes total. They had like one that was cool tone, one that was smoky, and then one that was more of like a rosy shade. But I went with the Goldens just because I feel like I'll get the most use out of this one. And the palettes come with like a bonus brush, which actually seems pretty nice like this is actually a really good tapered blending brush so that's a nice little freebie something I'll actually probably use so let's take a few swatches let's swatch this shade Ooh, now that's pretty that's super smooth very like pigmented and reflective I'm gonna see one of the mattes let's do like the transition matte shade it's a little powdery, but it's not like patchy or anything, and it's actually very creamy when you apply it. Um, let's do let's do the shade. Why not? Ooh, that one's pretty. The one at the bottom, the darker one. Yeah, I think this palette has some potential. I'm pretty excited about it. The next thing I got from Flower Beauty is one of their new Flower Pots blushes. I got the shade Sweet Pea because one of the girls I watch here on YouTube, her username is One Makeup. She was raving about this on her Snapchat or something and seriously this girl cracks me up because she reminds me so much of my old roommate Tori. They like look the same, they sound the same. Like once Tori, like my friend Tori has kids, like they are going to be the same person which is kind of like crazy but but she says that this is super super good and let's be honest we all know what this little blush looks like it looks just like the Milani ones but like a mini version which I love the Milani ones those are awesome as well but let's see how this is you know that's a good swatch like it's not too bright but it's definitely colorful. I think this is very, very promising. Um, and then the final thing I picked up from Flower Beauty is a eyeshadow primer that they came out with. This is their ultimate eye primer. It's supposed to be crease-free, long-wearing, and an invisible finish. I have very, very, very crease-prone eyelids, so whenever I see a new eyeshadow primer, I always grab it just out of curiosity, because who knows, this might be like the next big thing so we will see how that works out and then the final two things I picked up are skincare items from L'Oreal the first one is their new micellar cleansing water I'm about to run out of my Garnier one and this is supposed to be super super good I got the one from normal to dry skin so I'm very curious to see how that's going to work out versus the Garnier one I've been using and seriously like the Garnier one is huge I've been using it for forever and it's just now running out um, but I think Tati really really likes this 
this so I'm excited to try that out and then I also picked up one of their new pure clay masks that I've been seeing like everybody talk about this was a $10 mask which I didn't think was that bad and this is the one that purifies and mattifies and I feel like I've been getting like a smidge more oily in my t-zone nothing crazy but just like a little bit and I don't have any mattifying mask believe it or not so I thought this one would be fun to pick up and I really like the color of it because it is like that traditional like mint green like when you think of like old school face mask or at least when I think of it I think of like a face mask this color so I'm pretty excited to try that out maybe I'll try it out like tonight or something but I mean look at that green that's going to be wild moving on to the things I picked up from Target first I got a pair of lashes or like a multi-pack of lashes these are the Ardell Wispies and I'm wearing them right now and I've never had these before but I really really like them I think they're gonna look good on camera too hopefully fingers crossed or else that'll be awkward um, but they went on super easy today so far so good and then I picked up a pressed powder from CoverGirl and this is their advanced radiance powder and I think this is the one that Tati has been talking about maybe I don't know for some reason I've been into powders lately so I just was very curious about this one especially since this is radiance and I'm all about looking radiant um so this is what it looks like it looks like a pretty standard powder to me but we will see and then the last thing I picked up from Target is another face mask this is from Pacifica this is a kale juice cleanse Ahoa, uh, I don't I don't know how you pronounce that, um, surface overhaul mask. It is a non-abrasive peel that fights dullness and refines texture. And it's supposed to have super greens and enzymes, which is pretty cool. Honestly, the only reason I really picked it up is because it says it's a kale juice cleanse. And let's be real, this is like the only kale juice cleanse I will ever do in my entire life is like this face mask. So hopefully it's good. We'll see. Um, if you're into um, cruelty-free and vegan makeup, all Pacifica is that. And her packaging is adorable. So I'm very excited to try that out. So that is everything I've picked up recently from the drugstore. If you guys like this video, if you, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up thumbs up so I know and subscribe if you haven't already and I think my next makeup bag Sunday video is going to be drugstore week just because I have so many new drugstore items to try and I just think it'd be super appropriate so stay tuned for that but my camera is dying so I'm going to go and I will see you guys next time bye y'all